Yo, it's me again. Uh, <coughs> another video. This one, um, I've had a few people email me and uh, ask me to do this video. Uh, and what they've asked me to do a video on is how to change the audio cables. That's uh, that's these on one of these. It's a Technics uh, 1210 Mark II or a 1200 because despite what people say the only difference between these and the 1200s is the colour okay the 1200s are silver the 1210s are black so despite what people say and a lot of people do say oh the 1200s have got more torque blah 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 no it's the same motor the same everything it's just the colour is different that's it right now Put that aside actually because it's really heavy. Right, <clears throat> you're not going to need many tools for this, but you will need some pretty specific ones. Okay, mainly a Phillips screwdriver. Um, get a few different size ones because you know the screws, some of the screws in here are different size, a few different sizes. Get a flat headed one just in case because I've done this before and I did have to use it, I'll explain. Um, a pair of sharp side cutters, they've got to be sharp because if they're not they just mangle rather than cut. So, a pair of side cutters. And the thing you're going to need the most for this is a soldering iron. Now if you haven't got one, then you can pick them up really, really cheaply, sometimes even less than a fiver. You know, that's like ten dollars in America. Alright, there's a few things you've got to take off the turntable before you strip it apart. Alright, first thing make sure the armrest is locked in okay take off the slip mat that can come off take the platter off if you find it's a little bit seized just get your screwdriver and tap it in the middle and that comes off and take off the counterweight first and then the cartridge and make sure that that is locked don't leave that unlocked right now to get to where you want to get to in the turntable you can't just take this plastic bit off you can have to take the bottom off so you're going to have to flip it over now if you're on a hard surface like this I wouldn't just flip it straight over because you can bend the tone on best thing you can do grab an old cushion and just bung it on top like that and then that will stop this whole bottom from getting mashed up when you flip it over right now when you flip it over Okay, do it slowly and carefully because don't just you know sort of shove it over. Right now, you see there's a lot of screws here. Each one of these dots here is a screw. Right now, you've got to take out all of those. But here's the problem. Okay, there's, there's three different types of screw. Now before you start, anyway, you've got to take the feet off. So they just unscrew. So unscrew the feet off. Right now, if you notice as well, there's screws in the corner of each corner under the feet as well but those ones you can't get mixed up because they're about that long and they're the only long ones on it so you won't get those mixed up now there's two different types of screw on this part of the turntable so let me take the tripod up a little bit right now looking from above you can see clearly now where all the screws are okay you've got this inner circle here like that and that bit there where all the screws are. Now that's all one type of screw. Now I'll just put some markers on now so you can see, okay? Now, all the ones that are lit up red now are one type of screw, okay? So put those aside and leave those as one set of screws and uh, don't get them mixed up. Right now, all the ones that are now green, okay, keep those uh, separate and aside as a different screw because they're the longer ones. Don't try and put a screw from the green one into a red one because it probably won't fit and if you try and make it fit then you'll just cross thread it and knacker it. So bear that in mind, just pause the video and look at it if you have to. There we go. So now you need to take all of these screws out, so bear with me and I'll take them out. They're Phillips by the way. Right now, all the screws are out now and this actual bottom piece here is made from toughened rubber and that it should just now peel away but if your turntable is any older than say I don't know about seven or eight years old then forget it that's not going to happen so you're going to have to try and pull it off now this is where I said you might need the flat headed screwdriver 
So grab that. Now, carefully put this flat-headed screwdriver in here like this. Don't actually use it as a lever and lever it. Just put it in and then use your hand to pull up like this. There you go. And then you see that there should be a gap at the front now there that you can get your finger underneath and start to pull it away. There you go. You can feel it coming apart now. There you go. Like that. And then just peel it off slowly and it should just come off like so. There you go. Right now the bit you're interested in is here. It's under this metal plate here. Now, let me just get the camera down so you can see it. Right, now there's two screws holding this plate on. One there and one there. Now before you take those screws out, you're going to have to take this plastic bit off here. So there's a screw there and a screw there. Now, when you loosen these screws off, be really careful. Okay, you're going to have to obviously take the screws out. Okay, they are a bit fiddly to get out. But once you've taken them out, then don't pull this plastic bit off straight away. I'll show you what to do because it's uh, very right. Now, the plastic bit should come off now. But what you've got to do is pull it off. Okay, push it like that. Just push it inwards and then it should come out like that. Now to get this off, okay, there's a little clip on the side, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now what you've got to do is get your fingernail underneath it and unclip it. Again, this is where the flat headed screwdriver comes in handy. So unclip it like that. There you go. And then that plastic bit comes off. Now put that together again, like that, so you know how it goes back on, because it is quite complicated to work out if you do it wrong. So make sure you remember how to get that back on. Right. Now you can undo the screws on the plate. Right now, now you've taken the screws and the plate out. That should just come out, but be really careful. You see there's two slots here to get your fingers in and pull it off. Now be really careful as you pull this off. Okay, don't catch any wires in it because you'll just rip them off. Like that, you can just let that hang on the wire if you like. Right, now, let me get a bit closer so you can see this because this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Right, now, this is just a quick word of warning. Okay, here are some really skinny wires. Can you see those? Now, do not touch those wires because they are really, really delicate, and if they break off, okay, it is an absolute pain in the arse to get them back on, okay, because they'll just break. And if you actually snap one of those off, you'll have to get a new tone arm because you cannot thread those back through the tone arm. So be really, really careful of those. So the best thing to do is just, if you can, I wouldn't advise you do this, but if you can, just gently move them out of the way and then just put some tape over them like masking tape or something just to cover them up so you don't catch them by accident right now that white that cable tie there has got to come off so that you can get these off so this is where your side cutters come in so when you get your side cutters I'm going to get them in a minute and I'll do this in a minute and just snip those off now if you want my advice okay I would say to you this go out and buy instead of wasting your money buying cable and plugs and whatever else just go out and buy a, a 2 meter RCA cable, a high quality one, and actually just chop it in half. Um, so find the 2 meter one, or if there's like a, a 3 meter one, and then just chop it in half, and then wire one end that you've chopped into the end of this turntable and one end into the other. That way, the RCA plugs on the end are factory soldered and you'll get the best quality and also it saves you a lot of hassle as well so just go out and try and find some that are the same thickness as these or close as and um, yeah just cut it in half and solder it in in fact it will probably work out cheaper than buying uh, high quality audio plugs 